Hello and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today. Over the past several weeks, you've been hearing some recorded messages concerning anti-Semitism. And I trust that you're continuing to pray for the nation of Israel, the leadership there, and all that is taking place. It's a tragic uh, war that is taking place and the atrocities are coming out day by day. It's a horrible thing. And we need to continue to pray that there would be direction and guidance, not only for the state of Israel, but for the United States and our relationship with the nation of Israel. So I encourage you to do that. But today, I want to make a quick transition as we're moving into, obviously, already are there with Christmas that's taking place. And once again, uh, as it has been for several years, the attack upon Christmas is quite evident. Right now, this article states that the BBC, uh, the British Broadcasting Corporation faces criticism after dropping the Christian term BC and AD from teaching material for seven to 11 year olds. The article states that uh, they've dropped this, the, the BC and AD as we know as the guide of calendar that's been based in the Christianity's roots for uh, decades, of course. Uh, and it's important for us to understand how and what's been taking place here in this uh, they've been using video teaching from the BBC that has transferred it to the secular equivalent, as they call it, before Common Era, BCE, and Common Era, CE, instead of BC and AD. The critics, they said in this article last night, said the decision to abandon BC, which stands for before Christ, and AD, which comes from the Latin term uh, Anno Domini, meaning in the year of our Lord, uh, is an attempt to undermine the traditional Christian and British values that they say. Uh, in this article, it says throughout history, uh, we've used BC and AD, but now they're using BE, BCE before Common Era and CE, Common Era, for these dates. Now, what is the significance? Uh, in this article, it also states that an emeritus professor of sociology at the University of Kent said that the terms BC and AD do not merely possess religious connotations, but also a cultural connotation. So what's happening here is that they're trying with every effort, there always has been the effort to wipe Jesus off of the map. That's exactly what was going on even the, during the days of Jesus coming to this earth, born in a little lowly stable in Bethlehem, and ladies and gentlemen, we see this happening every year where there is the little bit by little bit of moving Jesus and Christ out of Christmas. But I'm going to tell you the only reason why it's Merry Christmas is because Jesus came. This article concludes that both AD and BC and BE and BCE are widely accepted date systems and the decision on which term um, to use lies with the individual production and editorial terms according to the BBC. Now, this is so important for us because uh, as we see the neutralizing and cancel culture as it's been in recent years that's tried to do away with Christ, it's not a small thing that's happening even though it's happening on a very subtle day-by-day uh, -day, uh, effect. Uh, according to uh, portions of this article, some people obviously want to remove Jesus completely off of the scene. And by doing that uh, and establishing uh, some kind of secular mindset to take Christ out of Christmas literally affects the calendar that we go by uh, day by day. This is the facts that Christmas uh, actually hinges on this particular uh, note and this article that we're talking about here for BC and AD. When the Son of God came and born of a virgin Mary in Bethlehem, uh, the Bible literally lets us know that it is at that moment that things begin to change as Jesus came to this earth born fully God and fully man to the virgin womb of Mary and time, the calendar, everything changed. The same thing happens for us whenever we come to Jesus Christ and we uh, know Him as Savior and Lord, everything changes. In fact, some people have described the B.C. was B.C. before Christ, before I knew Christ. Well, that's very true, ladies and gentlemen, because Jesus does make a change inside of our lives when He comes. Christmas 
changed everything. It changed our calendar, changed the effect of what uh, was happening in our world. Fear uh, was driven out because perfect love in Jesus Christ came to this earth. I want to share with you two passages of Scripture, and this is very prophetic because the Bible says uh, in Psalm 139, listen to this passage of Scripture, you saw me before I was born, scheduled each day of my life before I began to breathe. Every day was recorded in your book. How precious it is, Lord, to realize that you're thinking about me constantly. I can't even count how many times a day your thoughts turn toward me. And so it was in the book of Micah, the prophecy of the first coming of Jesus came in Micah 5 and 2. But you, Bethlehem Euphrata, though you're small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel. Listen carefully to this. Whose origins are from old, from ancient times. This term, origins from of old, is literally saying to us that the birthplace of the king there in Bethlehem was not just the birth of the king, but Jesus Christ, the Word, was there as the everlasting Word from the beginning and even to the end of time and beyond all ages. He is from eternity to eternity, everlasting to everlasting. Thou art God, the Bible says. So the truth is, Jesus loved you before you even knew who you were, before your parents met, before your parents' parents met, before Columbus came from Spain, before Bethlehem, before Adam and Eve drew their first breath. These are prophetic significant times we're living in, and the delineation happens at the birth of Jesus Christ at Christmas. It is prophetic for us. Not only that, but he came the first time and people ignored him. And even to this day, they're doing their best to ignore him. But I want you to be back with me next week because we're going to talk about not only the first coming, but the second coming, which, ladies and gentlemen, will be a time changer again. And until then, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.